my channel. Chubby Chubby Chubby's here. Um, if you guys don't know my name by now. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, welcome to I'm gonna do a private flight attendant vlog today. Um pretty much going over what repositioning means. Um, pretty much if you it, okay, that got a little bit too complicated. I'm doing a vlog today on you coming to work with me. Pretty much, I'm a private flight attendant and I only work 15 days out of the month. So my company has me for 15 days. Or anything before the 15 days or anything after the 15 days, they have to pay me an extra $650 to work. Um, but today is day one out of the 15. So when it's day one, pretty much you undergo... <laughs> You undergo a repositioning day. So pretty much my plane, I'm assigned to a jet. My baby. My baby's always broken. Like the plane's just always getting fixed on. Has a lot of issues. Which kind of sucks for a girl who wants to like see the world and go exploring. Um, but I don't mind my plane being broken lately because I'm trying to, you know work out get in shape so when you have a broken plane comes a lot of downtime so I tend to just chill in a hotel room and try to do what I want to do every day until the plane gets fixed but anyways today is day one so being that I have to reposition means um, I have to get to where my plane is so my plane, if you follow me on Instagram, clearly every month when the 15th day comes around, um, I always get flown to Los Angeles because my plane is always in Los Angeles. So, um, pretty much my company, what they do is they reach out to you. They say, hi, Chuby. Um, day one is here. Would you like to, if my plane was here maybe by my house, it, I could just jump on it. But since it's not here, they have to fly me commercial to get to my plane. So they pretty much um, contact, first, wait, first of all, let's take a moment to, to talk about this girl who messed up my eyebrows. This is why I know for now, for sure, I never ever in my life, going to trust go on a whim and say oh my god i need to get my eyebrows done really bad to the point where i just go to somebody that i see has good reviews because this girl butchered my eyebrows like this isn't even uh like all of this where it's white was hair before i had nice full eyebrows now, this one is like a freaking solar eclipse or a McDonald's arch. And this one is still a little bit thicker, but she took so much hair, bro. I had my eyebrows so full. Like, I like doing the, like, brow laminated look. Yo, she jacked me up. So, I'm going to have to, like, try to figure out how to draw in my eyebrow this month until I start getting some hair there. But... On a better note, on a better note, because we're going to be positive. Um, so my job hit me up last night, and they asked me, hey, girl, um, so you have two options. We can either put you on this 8 a.m. flight on JetBlue to get to L.A., or you can do an 11 a.m. flight um, on American. So normally you can, oh my God, look at this, <laughs> she took my whole eyebrow off. Oh my God, she sucks at her job. This is crazy. Look how much I have to draw in. Oh my goodness. I can't go to the airport looking like this. I'm about to put a freaking eyebrow patch on my eyebrow. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, pretty much they asked me last night, did I want to fly um, at 8 a.m. or 11 a.m.? And if you've been following my journey, um, 
I'm back in CrossFit now, so I really wanted to go to CrossFit this morning. So I asked them if they could pick the 11 a.m. flight or anything later. So I'm booked on the American 11 a.m. flight. I did go to CrossFit this morning, 5 a.m. The muscles and the gains is coming in. And yeah, I'm home now. I just cleaned up. I'm packing, getting ready for the airport and packing pretty much for 15 days in case sometimes you know like during those 15 days maybe i'll get like um a passenger that wants to come to where i live but if not then sometimes i'll really be gone like the 15 days the whole 15 days so i want to make sure like so i want to make sure like i pack everything that i need so that's what i'm doing so come with me today as we get ready to head to Los Angeles. Oh my gosh, I haven't had my eyebrows this thin since like high school. She really messed up my eyebrows. <laughs> I folded the blankets, got my little my living room like a little bit clean. It still could be a lot better. Like this could be turned this way. Um, uh, my living room cleaned a little bit of the kitchen and um i always tend to like write on the calendar when i'm starting the 15 days and then when i'm leaving because i have a boyfriend who needs that on the calendar because he'll forget when i'm coming home then i made him a wrap i leave it there left him a cute little note <laughs> Left him a cute note, love you, left the wrap in the fridge. And these clothes are all going to the thrift store. I mean, yeah, the Goodwill. Um, so yeah, pretty much what I'm doing, I'm just packing everything. I don't know if you can see my suitcase here. Um, uh, making sure that I pack a whole bunch of underwear. Cause for some reason, like in 15 days, you go through so much underwear. Um, but I have to hurry because I'm running behind schedule per usual. And this morning, my freaking complex, the elevator's not working. And I live on the top floor um, of my complex. So I'm going to have to carry all this luggage downstairs by myself. So I'm cutting a little bit close because American don't play with time. You have to check in your bag. So I should have now it's looking like I should have booked JetBlue. <laughs> We're going to try to hurry up, okay? Um, just, um, I just pretty much pack a whole bunch of, like, work dresses. I'm going to pack a bunch of, like, workout clothes, too, because your girl's trying to keep this real momentum going of getting in shape. So I'm going to pack that. Work shoes, tennis shoes, um, just, like, a little diverse suitcase. I should, like, a lot of my private fly tennis friends, they pack, they show up with, like, three suitcases on a rotation on a work trip. Um, this is the only bag I bring, so maybe I should start being a little bit more open-minded because the whole reason I wanted to vlog this today is because, um, it is the last rotation, um, that I'm doing because next month I started a new contract. So I'm getting a pay raise in 401k, dental health benefits everything super excited um so i did want to like vlog everything that i'm doing this 15 days because it's gonna be the last 15 days um working for this contract that i'm doing right now and then i'm gonna start a whole new one so i'm so excited um not only because i'm getting benefits but your girl's about to be made some good money and I'm just glad that I got a new contract because that just means like I'm here. I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. Yeah, this is one of my favorite dresses. I got this at TJ Maxx and I freaking love this dress. Um, I also want to pack like a regular like casual dress just in case my pilots, they always want to like go out somewhere. Um, I brought a bathing suit because the hotels I stay in. They have pool if I go swimming. Um, so I'm just packing like 
everything that I'm going to need for 15 days. How did my hair cream get on my knee? Um, and yeah, and then I got to get an Uber to the airport. The company does pay for your Uber. Um, and I checked in on American Airlines. I do get to keep my air miles. So I'm excited because from where I live to LA, it's going to be a long flight. So I'm going to get some good miles for this trip. And um, I checked in at the Marriott in LA already. So I can get my credit and also have a mobile key sent to my phone. So I can just go to my room as soon as I get there. And I'm pretty much ready to go. I just have to freaking pack my suitcase, which is taking me forever because I'm running my mouth. Um, so yeah, I want to make sure I'm packing some like casual outfits. Um, I'm trying to remember last time I was in LA, I ended up meeting up with other flight attendants. They wanted to go out to like Nobu and stuff. I didn't have Nobu clothes. So I'm just trying to like pack a little bit of cuter stuff this time, just in case. Um, packed a bunch of sports bras because I'm really trying to manifest continuing to work out, like I said. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where my workout shoes are supposed to fit at this point. This suitcase is um, about to explode. Oh my god. I don't even have my toothbrush and stuff in here. Okay. I think I got everything in here. My tennis shoes. Work shoes. I got enough pantyhose to last me 15 days. I think I need to come to the... To the terms that I need to start bringing a bigger suitcase. I, I bring the purse too, but the purse is like full of junk. So maybe I need to, um, I need to start, I need to bring, like, have the suitcase and then have a, like a small carry on. Because the purse, I just like, it just becomes like a place where I just throw mad stuff in there. So I need to do better. Because um, I really don't want to carry two suitcases and check two suitcases in, even though my company pays for it. But, I don't know. I like to be simple. Maybe I just need a bigger suitcase. Uh, but, I brought a bunch of stuff in here. Whew, okay. And I put on, I know you guys see this outfit in like a lot of my private flight attendant uh, vlogs. And I don't know, I just really like, the, I call this my non revving outfit, which is like the outfit that I wear when I'm going to fly commercial. I always put this on. This is my airplane shirt and comfy pants. And then I always wear like my Crocs because I like to be comfortable. <sighs> Shoot. Very comfortable, very low key. Uh, when you travel as much as we do, you just want to like get on the plane and get there and be comfortable. Um, I did get my window seat. I love windows because I always go to sleep or watch a movie. I love the window. If I don't get the window, I'm in a bad mood. Um, but I did get the window. Okay. We got it closed, y'all. Okay. There we go. And then, put the purse on top. The part where I just grab, like, all my chargers, all my gadgets, and I just throw them in my purse. I like to put a lot of snacks in there. Also, for the plane... For the plane ride, I always bring a water bottle. And then I drink it all, go through security, and then refill it in the airport so that I have water throughout the flight so I don't have to bother the flight attendants. And I can be in my window minding my business. Stuff in there, a little deodorant, some moisturizing creams, some perfume. 
lip gloss. Throw that in my purse. I just use my purse as like a my purse becomes like a collecting like this. I'm gonna bring it. It's like a waterproof phone case thing in case I go hiking again in LA. I just throw that in there. Throw my headphones in there in case. If. So when I work out in LA, I have my headphones. Then I also bring my fanny pack because I just love my fanny pack. I guess. Um. Here we go. Make sure I got all my phone chargers. Did I say that? Sometimes bring extra too because last rotation, my one charger stopped working and I was 15 days. I had to go buy a new charger. And, and then I'm gonna wear these and I'm heading to the airport. I gotta call my Uber and then start taking the stairs down because elevators it's complex stuff yep of course the elevator's not working so we're gonna have to great take the stairs let me go ahead and order my uber do you see like when I get an uber um, they give me Marriott points for the uber so I'm gonna get an Uber and hopefully it's down there by the time I take all these stairs. I'm gonna end up sweating all over again because I got so many stairs. Oh, I hate living here. Somebody please uh, help me. I'm down to the third floor finally. Ew. Oh, three more, three more flights. Come on, Jimmy. Bro, not cute. We made it down the stairs. I was sweating. And now I'm in the Uber heading to the airport. Made it to the airport. I'm in line right now to check in my bag. I freaking hate this airport. It's always freaking hectic. A ton of freaking people. Long lines. Nobody knows what to do. So frustrating being in a freaking airport. Alright, so I had to go to a different security line because... They want to be difficult. Like, it's really important to, like, invest into all of the perks that the airport provides when you travel as much as I do. I need to, like, apply for Global Clear, uh, TSA PreCheck, all that stuff. So I don't have to be waiting in these lines and then always get upset. Um, but unfortunately, I'm stuck, yeah, waiting in the line. Um, this is the part of the airport in the Miami airport that you have to walk normally they have a dog right here and a canine and they sniff you during this walkthrough area and then you end up over here where they're checking your boarding pass and your license and everything but it's a lot of people traveling today but I was able to check in my bag and now I'm just waiting to get through security. Finally made it through security, guys. Um, if you see there, so they have American Lounge, uh, American Airlines Lounge, and then they also have the Centurion Lounge, which is if you have the American Express card. Um, I have the card, and I would show you guys the lounge, but... Um, it's like super early in the morning and I'm trying not to go in there and drink a margarita. So we're just gonna head straight to the gate. At least the actual airport isn't super crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use the bathroom and then go to my gate because we should be boarding in like 10 minutes. Okay, made it to my gate. People are waiting, I guess, to board. 
this is the flight going to LA. I'm gonna find somewhere to sit down, hang out for a bit. Made it through the jet bridge. Getting off of the plane in Los Angeles. Wanted to show you some of the mess people leave on the way out. After a, it's a pretty decent long flight. We meant for cleaners and flight attendants because this plane is a disaster. I think so. I just almost busted my behind, but made it to Los Angeles Airport. Now I have to head to go pick up my luggage since I checked it in. Oh look, this is the um, American Airlines lounge. If you have their credit card, you can go in there and wait um, until your flight leaves. Lounges are where it's at, y'all. You get to leave all this chaos and go hang out in there. There's this place called Homeboy Cafe. I am pretty hungry, so let's get this luggage, get a Uber, head to my hotel, and get some food. Look how big the planes are. That's insane. Okay, we can see where the how the luggage gets taken off the plane. Pretty neat. I haven't seen, I just saw a luggage. That's the plane I just got off of. Look how big that thing is. Whoa! This is a big reason why I like to be the last one off the plane because if I check my bag in, everybody gotta meet up right back here anyways to wait for their suitcases, so. If I checked in a the bag, then yeah, I'm waiting to take my sweet time over here. Where's my bag at? Alrighty, I got my suitcase. Um, and now, LA is like one of the weird, um, one of the weird, um, Airports like they don't allow Uber and Lyft, only Uber Black to come to the actual airport and pick you up. Um, I guess I could order a Uber Black since my company's paying for my Uber, but I won't do that. Uh, so yeah, you have to like head to this area where a shuttle will pick you up and take you to the lot where Uber is, or Lyft is. So you just come out and follow those green signs. You say they, they say Laxit, L-A-X-It, or whatever it's called. And then normally everybody's like, over here, this is um, the line for it. And everybody's just here waiting for the bus to come take us to that lot. 
so much fun. All right, so I went ahead and ordered a Uber Black because I've been standing here waiting for a minute. There's a lot of people ahead of me and then there's a big line before and there hasn't been a shuttle that has popped up. So I think we'll be closer. I can wait 10 minutes for my Uber to come get me. Okay, thank you. Oh, my legs. I'm like, I stay in these hotels so much that I'm over that sound. Every time I check into the hotel, that noise annoys me. I mean, that's some music. But I got to my hotel, finally. This hotel's like, it's really pretty. I stay here a lot, so I know a lot of the um, workers and stuff. So they all just saw me. They were like, welcome back, girl. This is a shower. We got a little mirror. Um, nice, like, what is this, a king size? And, yeah, I got my TV, a nice view of, ooh, dang, girl, there's a freaking glass there. Um, nice view of Los Angeles. And, yeah, so, I'm in my hotel now. That's pretty much what a day repositioning looks like. It's a lot of, uh, commuting and... Just trying to get me to be where my plane is. Um, I guess it would make so much. Hold on, let me flip the camera. Um, so I'm just supposed to stay in the hotel now until my plane gets um, assigned a trip, and then I gotta go work it. So I know what, so I'm here because my plane's here. So I really don't know yet. I didn't investigate yet to see if my plane's in the shop or if my plane just doesn't currently have any, any, um, trips assigned to it. So I just stay here and there's like an app and normally like the day before, like they'll let, like it'll pop up on the app. Like, Hey, you have a trip here. Yada, yada, yada. Right now, it looks like nothing's on there, so I'm here now, and I could possibly just stay here. Uh, last month, I stayed here for just about like the whole 15 days without any trips because my plane was in the shop the whole time. So I just gotta like find stuff to do in LA, um, try to maybe look up a CrossFit gym that I could go to tomorrow morning. Um, I'm starving right now. So normally when I'm what I do because I know a lot of my co-workers also have the same rotation that I have, which is working um they start their 15 days today. So um I normally just go to like find my location and I can see like who all is flying into LA right now. Um so I text like one of my friends, like, hey, what time are you getting to the hotel? Let's go get food. So I'll wait for them, then go get food as a group, or just go get food by myself. Um, and yeah, I gotta go get a rental car if I'm gonna be here hanging out, cause I need to get around, especially cause like a lot of the CrossFit gyms are pretty far. There is one like, I mean, we stay in Malibu, so the CrossFit gym that's like right up the street, it's not really my vibe. I dropped, I dropped in there and did a workout like once and mm, it wasn't like my kind of music i don't know it just wasn't my vibe so i do maybe should go like i want to try out like a different crossfit gym um but yeah i checked in my job got me for 15 days see this is a thing now that i'm signing that i signed the uh, one thing i really like about my job is like wherever you can live you can live anywhere in the world and when it's time for you to go to work, they'll fly you to where the plane is. So I do like that because pretty much lately my plane is always in California. So life would be a, probably a bit easier for me if I just moved to California because then I could just be home waiting for my plane to get fixed, you know? Um, 
So right now it's like I'm away from home and I'm not. I'm just hanging out in a hotel room. But it it works because since I don't live here, they do pay you seventy five dollars a day for being away from your home, and I can use that money for food or whatever. And then I'm also getting hotel status by staying here. I need five more nights to hit um, ambassador level. I'm at 95 out of 100. It's almost to 100 days. I have a lot of points. <laughs> um, I'm almost to 100 stays for the year, and then I'll hit ambassador, um, which is one of the highest tiers for Marriott. Um, so I'm just here accumulating status and points and hanging out pretty much i don't want to bore you guys too much but i'm just gonna chill here go get some food and try to be good and not get any cocktails and stuff because i'm trying to like ease off of like alcohol unless i'm like a real celebration of something like i'm trying not to like just oh every day let's go and get food and then you end up ordering a drink like no Order a drink if you like going out, out to turn up or something. But like every day just going out and getting a drink because you're out eating. It just, those calories add up after a while. So I'm really craving like some sashimi or something right now. Ooh, maybe I should go to Nobu. Mm. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm here. This is what repositioning looks like. I'm just here now trying to figure out how to keep a routine going and and uh, live the dream <laughs> um but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna stop rambling because I was on that flight for a while so I want to get comfortable and go get some food and then sit down watch first 48 and edit this video for you guys and upload it and just begin enjoying uh, my 15 days on on my work schedule so let's see where this rotation takes me which is which is really cool because every rotation is different like last rotation I was hanging out at this hotel like the whole rotation then some rotations your plane will have like a flight here a flight there a flight there and you get to explore a lot um but that's what I love about my job it's like every rotation is completely different um, I'm working up there by myself, so I don't have the stress of like other coworkers. Like, I don't know. I just like it. It's such. Um, it brings me so much peace. So if you're thinking about doing it, I honestly like. I'm not even lying. Or like, I've worked jobs before where I'm like, oh yeah, definitely do it. The money is great. Not only is the money great, but it's like, it brings me a lot of joy. And I honestly love my job so much. So if you're watching this vlog because you're considering what a day is like as a private flight attendant, do it. Because I wouldn't change it for anything. So, yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. This is where I'll be possibly for the next 15 days. <laughs>